I think we can all agree that the Kardashian-Jenner clan all share the same love for buying up luxury real estate. But even the richest of the rich like to sell off their properties for profit though, and this time the youngest of the clan, Kylie Jenner, has placed one of her mansions on the market. The contemporary abode is located in the Beverly Hills post office area, and the asking price is $21.9 million for the almost 10,000 square foot home. Kylie and her baby daddy Travis Scott should be able to split a nice profit if the sale goes well considering records show the two hold a 50-50 stake in the 1.1 acre spread. Of course, Ms. Jenner still owns her main $36 million mansion in Homeby Hills, as well as a $15 million empty lot, her Hidden Hills estate she bought back in 2016, as well as a custom vacation estate in the works over in La Quinta's Madison Club. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have no doubt engaged in a long relationship history dating back to 2017. And since then, the on and off again couple has welcomed two children together and continued to co-parent. While Kylie seemingly built a strong bond with Travis in October 2022, drama came about when a model claimed that Travis cheated on Kylie with her. While it's hard to keep up with the Kardashian Jenners and their subsequent relationships, we do know that Kylie and Travis are selling this Beverly Hills home, so let's take a look. Located in the exclusive neighborhood of Beverly Hills Post Office in Los Angeles, more specifically in the Lower Benedict Canyon area, Kylie Jenner and Travis had purchased this modern abode back in 2018 for 13.5 million dollars, splitting the cost 50-50. It seems the home was a sort of investment or a spare estate because we haven't really seen the two shacking up here all the time over the years. Now the property has been put on the market for a whopping $21.9 million as of October 2022, so if they sell for even close to this amount, they'll be laughing straight to the bank. Built in 1971 originally, the much more contemporary and angular home had been rebuilt to look like this much more recently in 2016. The one 1.1 acre estate offers a long list of upscale amenities as well as celeb style privacy, being located at the end of a quiet street and protected by a tall gate and a fancy security system. Inside, Kylie's spare home offered just under 10,000 square feet of space, along with seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms sprinkled throughout, two of which were powder rooms. Past the massive gates, the estate looks quite peaceful and is full of neutral and earth toned colors. On the main floor of the main and there are walls with designer treatments, oak flooring, plenty of imported stone, and many floor to ceiling glass doors that open to reveal easy access to the grounds and gardens. The foyer is quite simple and minimalistic, but it will lead you to impressive spaces like the kitchen and the family room. One of these living rooms offers plush furnishings as well as a full wall of glass that opens to reveal a terrace, while the nearby kitchen also opens to an alfresco patio area where you can dine or entertain guests. That kitchen is decked out in dark ebony cabinets contrasted with white marble countertops and light wood flooring underfoot while it also connects to a breakfast room and walk-in pantry. The sunny dining room is a more formal setting but it still follows the zen and minimalistic feel as the rest of the house and opens to yet another outdoor area. This terrace space featuring what looks like a bar. Moving to the upper level of the home, the luxury master suite has a sitting area as well as a private balcony with city and canyon views. Other bonuses in the primary bedroom include dual master baths, one of which has a soaking tub and TV, as well as two walk-in closets, a cozy fireplace, and a glam room where Kylie would often get ready by her team of professional makeup artists. The home also had six more guests and family bedrooms which all came with their own bathrooms, while one of them was formerly used for Kylie and Travis's daughter Stormy's nursery. As one could imagine, like any Kylie Jenner property, this estate had a ton of amenities including a blackout movie theater, a blackout billiards room with a marble wet bar, a lounge, a family room, and another living room with fireplace that overlooked the swimming pool. Moving out through any of those retractable glass walls to the outdoor area, the grounds were something out of a resort. Not only were there stunning gardens surrounding the home, these carefully maintained gardens had Italian cypresses, lavender, and other fancy plants.
events. Of course, there was a swimming pool, spa, and built-in barbecue back here as well. Despite the ultra-private setting, Kylie's former home was only a few minutes away from the Beverly Hills Hotel and its infamous polo lounge, as well as the area's best shopping and dining spots. Kylie might be selling that contemporary abode, but her main residence is a $36.5 million resort-style compound in Homeby Hills, Los Angeles. This spot is actually the largest property in Kylie's portfolio thus far, standing over 15,300 square feet of space, along with four separate guest houses and a 24-hour guardhouse with full bath and kitchen. Her concrete fortress has a whole host of amenities that rival some of the best resorts in town, including club-style games game rooms, and even an indoor theater. The Holmby Hills area is much loved by celebs because it features long, winding driveways and quiet cul-de-sacs for privacy away from tourists, while still maintaining a convenient location near Hollywood, Santa Monica, and more. It's even the home of the iconic Playboy Mansion. Residences in this area often feature strategically placed ornate gates or foliage for not just privacy but extra security, which would no doubt be a dream, especially with Kylie's level of celebrity. Her home here was brand new when she moved in, with construction completed in August 2019, only eight months before she bought it. One of the best parts of newly built mansions is the fact that they come stacked with the latest and greatest entertainment and security systems one could find, Kylie's being no exception. The main mansion in the compound boasts seven beds and 14 baths over a single level, with an open plan layout, soaring ceilings, and massive walls of retractable glass to connect the indoors and the outdoors. Interiors offer a minimalistic decor with sleek neutral tones and luxury details, including touches of beiges, grays, whites, and golds. According to reports, the estate also had an impressive art deco chandelier in the main living area by the outdoor pool when Kylie moved in. The amenities at her pad are endless, with multiple bars and games rooms, as well as a massive indoor home theater and then an outdoor projection screen too. In terms of the chef's kitchen, reports suggest that it's decked out with European style cabinets and an impressive array of designer appliances, while the chic formal dining room is situated nearby. Kylie's Homeby Hills estate also features two guest apartments with individual kitchenettes, and if she wants to invite more guests to stay over, the estate also has two additional guest suites fit with their own patios and secluded entrances. In terms of Kylie's own space in the mansion, she's posted selfies in her bathroom mirror before too, and we could see the luxe white marble on the floors as well as the walls of her massive walk-in shower. Her spa-style bath also has a standalone tub and a flat-screen TV. The sprawling property has a ton of indoor and outdoor hangout space, including an estimated 5,000 square feet of covered patio area serving as an entertainment center, with TVs, fireplaces, and lounge sofas, which could be seen on the property's listing. The main courtyard and infinity pool are located located at the center of the property, and most of the common rooms open right up to the space as well. Elsewhere, there's a gym, spa, modern fire pits, and multiple terraces. Apparently, Kylie's compound also has a championship-level sports complex. If you follow the starlet on Instagram, you've probably seen glimpses of her home's state-of-the-art tennis court that would probably impress even the biggest tennis star. There's also a basketball court, too. So while that may be all of the Kylie Jenner property we're looking at today, it's far from all that she owns. But for now, we're going to bring this house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head out, think about this. If you had stunning homes all across California, how would you pick which one to use as your main residence? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, as well as your favorite features of Kylie's properties. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.